today I want to talk to you guys about something that I'm super excited about and normally I wouldn't like want to jinx it but I've sort of been waiting for this news for like two months so when I was in Fiji I started looking for a house because I was like you know I don't really want to rent if I'm going to be here for two to five years or maybe even longer than that and so as a result I was like okay I'm, I'm going to take a look at these things and um I found this amazingly beautiful house I mean it's just this really nice one um and the thing about it is that I really 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 like is that the so the steps go upstairs and upstairs is huge and fully furnished and stuff um can you just stay in one position please you're making me dizzy um but the downstairs which has all of the plumbing and the beams and all of that stuff is was never finished so i can do whatever i want with that and what i think would be you know, amazing is like you know, downstairs could be business for the corporations and potentially filming and stuff. But then, like, when I have kids, upstairs is where we would live, and they're totally separate. Like, you know, they won't have the key to the downstairs, and they won't, you know, need to know anything about that. So, I really like this house, but as more and more time has gone on, I've been more and more apprehensive about this house and actually was pretty sure we had let the house go because the time period where we were talking to the owner and all of that, that time had expired already and the banks in Fiji just weren't being great about getting back and, and then when they did finally get back it was like we need a 50% deposit for the whole house. And I don't know how many people have, you know, tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars saved, but it's, um, I didn't. So I was like hoping to put like 10% down and then the bank gives the rest of the loan or whatever. Um, so the bank said 50% and I was like, okay, that's over and done with. Um, we're going to have to try renting first and then maybe you know, move into a really an expensive house and, you know, that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do, like, we'll figure it out. Um, but just today, the um, real estate lady told us, told me that the man who's selling the home would be willing to do it with a 10% deposit. Um, so we basically, instead of using a bank, we'd be going through him and paying him each month, um, for stuff. But I have, like, 10%. Like, we can do 10%. And so it hasn't happened yet. The lot still needs to be done. Uh, it'll probably take a couple more months. But I think we might actually have our house for me and the kids and all of that and it's on 15 acres so it's got a farm they're like sheep and little baby sheep and I, I want to buy like some chickies and some duckies and um, if people in Fiji know how to do cows or whatever maybe we would raise those two or pigs or whatever um, sky's the limit but I don't want to have to deal with that stuff so there's already somebody on the property who takes care of the property and I don't even know if they know anything about the beef industry or any of that in PG so but I just love the idea of having like our own garden where we could grow carrots and all kinds of cool stuff like I think it would be really informational for the kids too because they can you know help me plant like the baby plants with the seeds and then every week we go out and look at them and they can help me water them with their little watering cans and like oh that's such a sweet like cute thing so i need everybody to send good vibes my way i need you guys to cross your fingers your toes your legs anything you can cross 
Um, if you're religious, you could pray. Um, but just, I'm really hoping that this house thing comes through, because if it does, then it's perfect. And so I've always felt really guilty about this, too, because it's like, oh my god, this house is perfect. But if you are an adult, you know, you know, the first house you buy, the second house you buy, these are not your perfect houses, like, you know, they're not. You kind of have to work up to them, but it's like, if we're able to get this and just start our family, like, with me adopting kids and stuff, um, and like, you know, us li me live upstairs with them and like be able to still continue running business stuff downstairs I mean it's just like perfect it's just perfect you know and I, then I wouldn't have to uproot them and like what we're going here or there because I really want the kids to have as much stability as possible considering that you know they've been wards of the court their entire life um, one of the kids that I'd really like to foster and potentially adopt is 10 right now. And I probably won't get him until he's 11. And so, like, you know, I want him to say, Hey, baby, do you want, you know, tacos or do you want pasta tonight? And they can actually make the decisions themselves instead of always being fed the same exact foods and most of the time with no protein or vegetables in it. Um, so yeah, it makes me really happy. It makes me feel very empowered that we're gonna, and like how could the social welfare office say no if we have this house? Like if we are in a house that we've bought, I just feel like they're gonna feel like I'm more stable and all of that. 